All right, guys, and welcome back. I am Largo, and today we're checking out another Warframe trailer. This video was a commenter suggestion. Uh, a couple of you guys let me know that the new Warframe Prime trailers were out, so I uh, thought I would check them out. Always liked checking out the Warframe trailers. They were really cool. Played Warframe for just a little bit, uh, just long enough to get Gauss because I thought he was really cool. So that when I heard that the, uh, the new Gauss Prime trailer was out, I was like, yeah, let's check it out. Um, before we get started though, I have played a little bit of Warframe, like I said, but uh, I'm still a little unclear on the whole Prime deal. Like, what is the actual difference between Gauss and Gauss Prime, Grendel, Grendel Prime, any other standard Warframe and their Prime variation? I'm just, aside from the aesthetic difference, like, what is, what is the actual difference? Like, are their abilities stronger? Do they have different abilities? Like, what's, what's the whole deal with that? I don't know. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and see what is up with Grendel Prime and Gauss Prime. Hmm. We are losing this war, you say? You whisper that my warframes are too genteel. Who, Very well. Who, who's whispering that warframes are too genteel? These... These hybrid creature murder machines that can take like a thousand to one odds. Who's arguing that these things are too weak? That's that's an absurd statement. Away with chivalry. <laughs> Let us have monsters. Grendel. What is he holding? The lore of clump and belly. There's a chunk boy. Of cave and grunt. Oh, is he like filling the room with like noxious gas and then like spinning around the room so no one has anywhere to run? That'd be terrifying. That'd be terrifying if, if Grendel walked into a, a room that you were trapped in and started spewing stuff from his gut mouth. Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be horrific, horrific and terrifying. Yeah, these guys kind of look like uh, his original version. Kind of reminded me of the Plague Marine with the big mouth on the gut type deal like open armor gut but this one definitely looks a little bit different the the prime versions have a lot of gold flare gold lining to them so it definitely sets him apart at least visually from his his previous counterpart i spread for you a cannibal feast <laughs> a Look at this dude. to the valor he's of a, he's a pooping himself appetite. you tremble but the drool is on your chins <laughs> Oh. For you birthed him in all his innocent obscenity. This is what you ordered. Now that I'm looking at it, though, what it really kind of reminds me of is it's almost like a like a Zerg Ultralisk combined with like Protoss technology or like. Kind of how they combine the Protoss and the Zerg in the StarCraft II to get um, the hybrids or whatever. It's kind of like they did the same thing, except they crossed like an Ultralisk with some type of uh, Protoss technology or something, like a like an Archon, and gave it armor or something. Really cool looking though. Like really, really cool looking. It's pretty cool though. You ordered. We Let's do. Run away! Run away! Oh! Gome Grendel demands a Out of nowhere, but I mean, all right, it's Gauss. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. This is my boy. This is the one I played. The uh, looks a little different. Look at him, he's just having fun. Lightning to his gastric thunder. The livid energy. Yeah, man, this is the thing. This is the thing that kills me is I add this. I literally played Warframe just to play Gauss and I absolutely love like the character. I like the design, all that. I really wish someone would make a video game where the whole point of the game, the whole shtick, if you will, is it's based around playing a character with super speed. You know, whether you make a flash game, a Quicksilver game, 
you know, some something like Warframe where you're just like in a mechanical suit and you move really fast. Super speed characters have always really fascinated me because it's like the one if you're like to put a character's attributes on like a stat sheet, right? Like strength, durability, uh, endurance, speed, energy projection, stuff like that. Speed is really the one of the most important ones, man. Like I've said it, I've said it before. I'll say it again, and I'll say it a million more times. It doesn't matter how strong you are. It doesn't matter what your abilities are. It, half of the power sets out there are completely nullified if you cannot hit your target. If you can't hit your target, you could be the strongest dude in existence, but if you can't hit what you're swinging at, it does not matter. I've always really liked speed. Like, I just wish there was a game out there where you could just, like, play, run around, slow down time, like, mess with people while time is slowed down. Like, that would be the best thing ever. Lightning to his gastric thunder. Lightning to his gastric thunder. Livid energy. All right, let's go. Mm. Meteoric as messenger of long Yo, like this. Gods. Yo, just like that. Like how he slowed down time. He's able to dodge around projectiles, but then he's also able to interact with the projectiles mid-flight and be like, nope, I'm gonna redirect this bullet this direction and peace. Like, oh, oh, why can't I get this game? Somebody needs to make this game. Okay, there's his, his cryo attack. Okay, I like, I know he's got the attack where he sucks in kinetic energy and like freezes people. And then he's got the attack where he expels kinetic energy and like ignites people. This looks like it's a little bit more directional or like he's just hitting people in front of him. But I don't know, maybe it's omnidirectional like his other one, but there's just nobody behind him. Between these two, the He's just chilling. And the Not even running yet. There must be no what did he say? Unspeakable and the inescapable. Between the unspeakable and the inescapable. The unspeakable monster that is Grendel and the unescapable force that is Gauss. I like that. There must be no more talk of defeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gives him the boop. Boop. <laughs> That's great. The thankless eyes shall be seared blind in the heat of his passing. His eyes will be seared blind in the heat of his passing. Gauss. Oh, that's so metal. That's metal. This dude's so fast. Your eyes just melt as he's going by. <laughs> that's so metal. All right, guys, that was the trailer for Grendel Prime and Gauss Prime. I really like them both, but obviously I have a uh, an affinity for Gauss Prime. I really like him. Um, I will say the one thing that's kind of throwing me off about this is I know that they redesigned the aesthetics for every Prime version of the character. You know, I've seen lots of pictures of the Prime versions of characters, and they all kind of follow the same thing where they make them a little bit more fancy and they add like little gold lining all over over them and stuff and that's fine but with gauss the one thing that's kind of bothering me is and again like i said at the beginning of the video i don't know the actual technical differences like the gameplay mechanic differences between a regular version and a prime version but i would think that the prime version would at least be maybe faster or something like that and his redesign as far as aesthetically goes i was really thinking that it would be like more aerodynamic but it almost seems like it's less aerodynamic because there's a lot more flips and flaps and things that would create drag and not really work in his favor with wind resistance. You know, I, I like it, it's cool looking, but I'm almost getting like 
chappy vibes from it. Like, like Gauss is just a super fancy chappy. He's got the two, the two little antenna things that kind of like like to like flip and flop and move around and stuff and kind of like animate or kind of like emote for him. But uh, really nicely dressed, very fast chappy, which is interesting. But I was kind of I was kind of hoping he would get a little bit more aerodynamic. You know, I kind of like the smooth part on his old helmet. But it is what it is, and if there is, if he does, if he goes faster, if Gauss Prime actually goes faster, I might even consider playing the game again because Largo's gotta go fast. Largo's gotta go fast. I always enjoy looking at these Warframe trailers, especially my boy Gauss here, and I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, uh, give the video a like, and consider subscribing to the channel to help it out. But most importantly, leave a comment down below. This video itself was a comment or suggestion, and I learned about it because uh, one of you guys told me. So leave your suggestions down in the comments below, and we can check those out in the future. As always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. Take care of yourselves, and have a great day. Great day. Really? Really? Re really? Read the whole thing? The whole thing just fell off?